My name is Tony Metcalf. I spend most of my time here at the Research Foundation leading a great team of scientists. Some of our major things that we're doing here still stick with our history, trying to understand burns, understand the wound healing processes, trying to reduce scars. We're migrating into soft tissue regeneration, but this is all taking the, the learning that we've built over 50 years and bringing it up to date right now. And these are technologies that we're using, new biomaterials, um, new technologies to actually try and solve some of these patients' problems. It's, it's sometimes for them not only just a physical thing, it has a psychological impact on them. I'm Yassi and I came here to the Blanc Mencken Research Foundation to do my PhD and I'm working here um, in the field of tissue engineering. My project is about soft tissue reconstruction. So adipose tissue is a fatty tissue, lots of people want to lose it, but actually it's really, really important um, that you have your adipose tissue, your fat tissue, because it's important for regulating the body temperature, it's, um, it's an organ for energy storage and it also shapes um, the body. It gives the body that its individual shape and when you lose it, for example due um, to tumor removal or traumatic accidents, um, you will have like a contour effect. So basically after you lost it, there's a dip in your body and that's obviously not really nice physically for the patient and not emotionally um, as well. And um, so my project is about trying to develop a um, tissue engineered construct to replace the lost adipose tissue and I'm developing um, a construct made out of biomaterial. Um, here's like a version of the scaffold, it's um, like a sponge. It's um, yellow because of the material and it has like lots of pores and I want to see it um, stem cells into the scaffold. Uh, um, so the stem cells that I'm using are the stem cells of the adipose tissue and stem cells are really amazing cells because they can differentiate in lots of cells of the human body. I want to combine the cells with the scaffold to make a construct which you actually can insert into the contour defect where the construct um, slowly degrades, the stem cells should then replace um, the lost tissue. I'm Jella, I'm one of the postdoctoral researchers here and I've been working on cell therapies, so using the patient's own cells to help improve their wound healing. So at the moment the way that the cells are grown for the patients is in plastic flasks like a petri dish and then enzymes are used to remove those cells and then they're put into suspension and sprayed onto the wound bed with a spray nozzle like this. But the problem with that process is that it damages the cells quite badly. We are looking at a new strategy for growing these cells. So what we use, we use very small particles and then the cells are grown in these flasks here. So they're grown in suspension and the particles are made from gelatin, so they're biodegradable, we can resorb them, um, just like we would eat a gummy bear. So the cells with the particles can be applied directly onto the wound bed and the cells won't be damaged in that process. So this way, we can control the properties of the cells, so the quality, but also we can control how quickly the cells grow, so the treatment will be faster, safer and more efficient. One of the things that patients often complain about is the appearance of their scars. So the fact that the scars are quite unsightly, um, they're also often quite tight, so patients might have lost mobility. And we're hoping with this project to improve wound healing right at the early treatment stage. So if the wound can heal better right from the beginning, then the scarring will be reduced from the early outset. I'm Dr. Ferdinand Lally. My project is basically working on angiogenesis, which is the formation of blood vessels. And in particular, this is angiogenesis in the wound, because several types of wounds actually fail to heal well because they have a difficulty in regenerating uh, blood vessels. And uh, my interest is actually how we can improve the healing of wounds by improving the, the, the conditions in a wound so that they help regenerate their blood vessels. There are a number of uh, wound types which we are particularly interested in. Uh, these are the wounds that don't heal very well. A very good example is the diabetic foot ulcer. In those wounds, actually, you have a situation where the wound would not close. And if you look carefully, you'll find one of the reasons is they remain inflamed much longer than uh, a normally healing wound. And we're looking at ways of uh, improving the dressing for these wounds so that the blood vessels form as quickly as they should and the wound healing is optimized. 